And I have more. <laughs> oh. You got your own shirt? Yeah. Wow. Let's do it. Good morning. It is 5.35 a.m. That's right, 5.35 a.m. I woke up at 3.30 a.m. because I was so freaking excited because today we're going to London with Eric and George. Triple departures one. That's where we're going. So adorable, by the way. I was sitting in a train and it's 6 a.m., mind you. There's this girl, so I was just sitting next to her. We are about to get off the train. She's like, oh, are you getting out here? And suddenly she's like, you're Ivana. Oh, I didn't recognize you. I'm so sorry, it's 6 a.m. I was like, it, it doesn't matter. I know it's 6 a.m. And if you recognize me, that's, that's freaking awesome. And I love people saying hi to me. So if you ever see me, say hi to me. She said she had to work at Starbucks. So uh, we're gonna get, I, I told her like, I'm gonna get a chai latte. So maybe I'll see you later. Let's see if we can see her again. Hey, Erika's here. Hey, Good morning. We made it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah, absolutely. Me too. Don't know what we're gonna do yet, but it's gonna be cool anyway. Secret project. Yeah, I I feel the same way. Like so. we have no idea. My brother was asking, "What are you gonna do?" I'm like, "Yeah, don't know yet, but it's just freaking awesome." Like it sounds even more more secret if, if we don't know. What we're exactly, gonna do, so. exactly. It's a very secret mission. Awesome. By the way, I am wearing my girl Masha, aka Beauty Gloss, is lashes, the pretty ones. I love it so much. No eyeliner. I Hashtag no eyeliner. You did? Yeah. Oh wow. Also the beauty glow lashes. Yeah, and I did my yeah. eyebrows as well. Oh my gosh. Oh, you watch the videos. See? Because it's for good luck. Because my bae is like one of my greatest inspirations when it comes to YouTube. So, mad love for my girl. Mm. Love the lashes. Yeah. George made it too! Like last minute our names are being called and everything yeah, but fire. we made it, we made it and he's also vlogging. <gasps> Look at this equipment and everything, so professional, so professional. <laughs> Are you excited? Are you excited? Yeah, a little bit jet lag, but it's okay. <laughs> we all didn't sleep. How much did you sleep? Uh, nothing. Nothing? Zero. 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 You slept two hours or something. Oh, tonight. Yeah. I thought uh, you meant on the, on the airplane. Yeah. For me, three yeah. hours. Erik, how much did you sleep? It's like I'm still sleeping, actually. <laughs> you never woke up. <laughs> We're in a dream. We're in a dream. It only took us three hours, but we found it. St. Giles Hotel. Woo! We're right in the middle of the center of London. It's nuts, like Oxford Street is around the corner. This is nuts. We are checked in and on our way to the, to the office. Chipotle, Superwoman's favorite fast food. I think that's a really, really good sign for this trip. It's gonna be freaking awesome. So I can finally tell you that we're here for Google. And this is Vaso, our contact over here. She is so adorable. Thank you so much for having us here. Thank you for coming. <laughs> our pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so we're gonna get a tour first. Yes, definitely. Awesome. And we have another YouTuber here with us Hi, from nice Sweden. To see you. Can you introduce yourself? I'm Axel Palm from Sweden. Uh, What's your channel? Uh, I have two channels, but the Ooh. one relevant to you is just spelling out my name, Axel Palm. Of course, the office is freaking awesome, and right now we are in the micro kitchen. Look at this, look at this. Jars with nuts, and you can just, you know, eat whatever you want. And over here, there's a massive coffee machine. Look at this, look at this. And over here, there's like the snack counter. Mm, healthy snacks, very healthy. Apples and nuts and oh Stefan loves these he's crazy about the proper ones wow all healthy snacks well almost look you have to try really hard to reach the unhealthy snacks awesome and now I'm just filming you again <laughs> you should be in it too but Vasa should also be in it guys it's real the nap pod it's real it's real you can take a nap here this is on my bucket list to take a nap in the Google office. What? What? Oh, naps. Naps. 
and this is kind of like an office garden guys this is so cool look you can sit here and this is the view of london look at that london eye that is nuts <gasps> you can take naps here too you can take naps here too you can take naps everywhere here oh sorry it's so amazing at night right what oh my gosh best view in london this is nuts let me see can you spot tower bridge i think it's over there right here guys this is nuts look at this view like this is like garden and the weather right now is so nice it's warm it's 25 degrees an incredible view look at this like the, you can take naps here what yes this couch is quite fluffy you can take naps here wow and you can sit here outside this is brilliant this is seriously the healthiest buffet i have ever seen in my life so this is what's on my plate i have some brown rice some edamame i have a vegetable gyoza um, a roasted vegetables kimchi quinoa salad roast more roasted vegetables this is nuts it's so nice and some desserts and afternoon snacks this place man this place it's freaking amazing look at eric's chocolate cake look at it look at it you're gonna eat it you're gonna eat it eat it have it <laughs> look at that face look at that face that's chocolate heaven man <laughs> Look at this, look at this, this is seriously like a dream come true, look at this It's a t-shirt from YouTube with my name on it, like what? Ah, thank you so much! You <laughs> love, love it! Oh my gosh! I'm, I'm gonna take it with me to India Absolutely. But maybe like, you can take it with you everywhere I love it so much, thank you! Of course! You're very welcome awesome. And I have more! Oh. You got your own shirt? Yeah, wow. I do, from YouTube. It's such an honor. Yay. <laughs> you always see these big YouTubers visiting the Google offices and you always think like, wow, that's so cool and I would love, well, actually I never thought I would love to do that. I was just like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. And it's so freaking awesome. And we heard a lot more about the company today. <sighs> Everything about Google, like all the good things are true. It is such an inspirational and wonderful company and it was just so, so inspiring to hear everything and what we're going to do. I still can't tell you anything about it because it's not announced, so it's still a secret project, but now you know I went to visit the Google offices in London. Actually, we, because this also made me, you know, it makes you rethink why you do what you do because you know i could be traveling I, I could be traveling without videos i could find a job in the traveling industry i could make a lot more money working in the travel industry and just just traveling the world and not making any videos the reason why i want to make videos is i never really thought about it because making videos made me so freaking happy even when i was at my lowest point in a burnout i didn't do anything else and i just wanted to make videos making these videos was the only thing that got me out of bed and i think like if you really really <laughs> i don't <laughs> i don't suggest you to go to a level of a burnout but if you really really want to know what makes you happy it's the thing that when you have no energy at all or you are feeling so miserable and it's that one thing that will still brighten up your day next to the fact that i really really love making these videos i can see you guys getting inspired from me showing you new countries and introducing you to new people and new habits and new foods but also making non-conventional choices because i i studied law i studied communications i was in a corporate environment ready and set for a career in communications and at one point i decided that was not what i wanted to do with my life god i look horrible oh, three hours of sleep don't judge me <laughs> but if there's anything that i would like you to remember from my videos is that <laughs> you don't have to do anything to make anyone else happy you just have to make yourself happy unless you're hurting other people or animals that's not cool but for instance if you decide to <laughs> switch from dutch vlogs to english vlogs i'm not hurting any people with that and it makes me happy and it 
shows through my videos and this also goes for the choices in your life if you're making choices that make you happy and you're not hurting other people in a significant way like for instance if you have to break up with someone i understand it will hurt the other person but in the end like if you have the best intentions for the both of you and uh, the same goes for a job or any other decision you have to make in your life if you have the best intentions and you're just trying to make yourself happy and other people happy i think those are those are the best choices that you have to make even though sometimes you know those choices can be really hard i had to accept the fact that my relationship might end because this is something that makes me happy and that stefan might not accept me traveling so much and in the end it worked out really well and we're still together but i did accept that fact because this is what genuinely makes me happy in life and i don't know like if i can show you with these videos the choices that i'm making to make myself happy with the best intentions i never try to hurt anyone but i'm trying to make myself happy because I believe a better world starts with happy people because when you are happy you can make like the best choices also for the other people around you and you can make them happy for me that will be like the most amazing result of these videos because that would mean they are making a positive change in the world no matter how small it is even if it changes like the choices that three people make and three people are more happy because of these videos how amazing is that that's that's nuts it's so humbling to hear that you can have such an effect on people's lives by doing something you love and by making the choices that make you happy and you can already see it it i it gets me quite emotional talking about these things because for one <laughs> i had three hours of sleep which always makes me like the most emotional unstable person in the world like you can tell me one thing now and i would be crying but also it's it's such a dear topic to my heart because once you've been through hell and like made choices that don't make you happy and so far off from the things that spark joy into your life it's just like you don't ever want to go back to that place and i wouldn't wish that place to my worst enemy i, I wouldn't want anyone to be in that situation where you're at your lowest point and you know just so sad so my dear travel squad thank you so much for sticking by me uh even with the dutch to english switch or if you're just a new subscriber this is like a huge milestone getting here and um Marcia, like one of my best friends beauty gloss she changed my life when she told me do whatever makes you happy and i just want to spread that wisdom it's not something i invented it's just it's something she really taught me do whatever makes you happy because it's so worth it right now it's time to go to dinner god i look awful wow no filter can fix this man and of course i'm going to wear this t-shirt because it's freaking awesome to dinner and i'm so tired but we're gonna sleep later and enjoy right now we're going to enjoy the moment we're going to a korean restaurant i think beep and pop beep and pop haven't had that in a very long time looking forward to it currently walking towards the restaurant vaso is it gonna be good food amazing food yeah it's the best korean restaurant in town. Yes. oh snap look at this cuteness oh and g is also ug is also vlogging so i'm just gonna stand out here instead of talking through his vlog look at this so many restaurants over here, I have no idea what street is this. This is Charlotte Street. And so many restaurants. Pizza Express, okay, no. But over there you have so many cute restaurants as well. And here an Indian restaurant. Ah, oh, love it. We're going to have dinner over her. What is the restaurant name? Say it, say it. Bibimbap. Very good. <laughs> Bibimbap. You have to say it as fast as you can. Bibimbap. 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 Korean food, man. So these are just dumplings with leeks, no. I think. Super traditional rice cake in spicy sauce. Topoki. And we have kimchi pancake over here. More dumplings. Mm. So yes, bibimbap. Oh my gosh, it's been such a long time. For over a year. And I ate this all the time when I was in Korea because they had hardly any vegetarian foods and bibimbap was one of them. And it's actually cooking. I'm by 
back in the hotel room and I am dead. This was such an amazing and inspiring day. I really hope you enjoyed hanging out with me in London. Bolt. Yeah? Ready? Okay? Uh, if you would like to travel along to more countries, click that subscribe button. And if you like this video, you can put a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.